Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at, if I right click here, I've got a whole bunch of healing tools. One of them is the patch tool. This is slightly different to the others. It's got some extended capabilities, which are really cool. First of all, when you click on that, nothing seems to happen here, but when you click and start to draw, it will do a selection. And the straight line you see is because it goes from the beginning to the end, so the moment you stop it will just make that up as a full thing. But look, look at what's happening here. This looks a bit odd, because I'm moving the cursor, but if I move it out here, you can see it's putting in a bit there. In other words, I can select out here, I can choose where to use as a sample to blend in, because when I click again, there you go, it now is going to blend into that. So if I click away from that, you can see it's taken where I selected and did an automatic blend just like the healing tool uh, to fit that in. So this gives you more selection, more choice as to where you take your um, fill from. So let's undo that because there's another thing that this does where well, you can do this. It's, first of all, it's because it's a selection, you can use other tools to select it. So I can go to the selection brush up here or any other selection and I can use this. So I could paint here, I could even use snap to edges yeah, and select that more precisely and then when I click on the patch tool the same effect happens. I'm still going around and you know, I can select from elsewhere so I can do quite precise stuff now with it by using that. So let's get rid of that again because now we can look at another thing with it, and that's let's just take an area here, just more. There we go, back to where we were. But if I go up here, and we've got more stuff here, this stuff here, new add, subtract, and intersect, helps with the selection, just as it does with other selecting tools. And but if I click on selection source, this now changes because if I come down here, look, I'm copying from rather than copying to that area. I'm copying from it. So I can put this person somewhere else. And it will then try to blend that in. But not only that, because I've got the dots at the corners, I can rotate it, I can scale it. So I can take that and put it further away, for example. So this again is, is our extended use of this. Let's look what these other things do. If I click on texture, it goes almost transparent sort of kind of not quite but it in, in the way you can do this is you because you could copy this into another layer and if you used a luminosity blend then you get exactly that same appearance but so when if you want to do that luminosity thing then you're doing that not the colors in other words so this if you take that to the sky see it's black and white so it's, it's the, it removes color so and the next one is even more interesting in some ways and that's the transparent one where it effectively is transparent so you can see here because effectively it's got rid of, of a lot of the other information around it so up here if I make that bigger you can see that it's got here you can see a little bit around here but a lot you can't and that's particularly useful if I'm going to do things like Something like this. Get rid of that. Now when I'm copying this, you can't see the background at all because it's a fairly bland background. If I go over the top of something, you can see it is transparent, but I'm, if I'm putting it here, it's just like taken that stuff there and ignored the grey. So that's another really very useful thing that you can do with it. The source things here, these act the same way as source. You can copy from other areas and so on, which is the same as you do with the clone brush. A thing to note with this is where you've set, got rotation and scale, which we've been doing with this. Then if I click, uh, click escape, go away, do other things. When I come back to the patch tool, these are still here just the same as the selections I've got here so be careful that if necessary you might need to go back say 0 say 100 and change these so always check these including the selection things there so there we go overall very powerful little tool
Thank you very much for watching.